So today we've got a procedure that involves some of the most amazing reptiles at Australia Zoo. All right, I'll back you up, Mick. Yep. We're doing a bit of a pedicure with our alligator snapping turtles. Oh, he's a big boy, isn't he? The snapping turtle is an ambush predator, so they sit waiting usually at the bottom of a waterway and they'll wait for anything that's cruising past and they'll lure them in with what's called a vermiform. They open their mouth up and they've got this little worm-like tongue that sits on the end of it and they wait till something swims up and then bang. And they've got about 350 pounds of bite force pressure. So once they grab a hold of something, it is not getting away anytime soon. Lucky his head's facing the right way, eh, Mick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Lightning and Fred. Lightning's son. You've got a big head, mate. Lightning is really, really old. I think he's into his 80s. It was one of my dad's favourite animals. Dad absolutely loved snapping turtles. Oh, mate. Oh, well, you're all right. You're all right. Have a look at this. Alligator snapping turtle. They can actually bite a catfish in half. What a fantastic animal. Beautiful set of webbed feet. They got little claws and they'll just dig into the mud. Alligator snapping turtle. Woo! Oh, watch his head. All right, good wrangle, mate. The reason why we have to go in and, and constantly be trimming those fingernails is because out in the wild, they live in river systems and estuaries, constantly digging around the substrate, looking for different places to hide, and that really wears down those fingernails. But here at Australia Zoo, they don't have to be constantly struggling to find food, and that means that their fingernails grow a lot quicker. There you go, big, big boy. Oh, you're all right, mate. Uh, Robert's going to be shielding Dr. Sam and myself from the turtle. We'll trim up the nails and we'll just make sure that they're in prime condition. Should be quick if, if that could just come over slightly. Just further, yeah. Lightning is a big boy. He's between 80 and 90 pounds and he's going to be a lot to handle. Okay, we'll start with the back foot. Yep. As long as I stay clear of his mouth, I should be fine. You're all right, Lightning. You're all right, mate. It is a bit nerve-wracking having half an inch of plastic between you and his mouth, that's for sure. I got him. He's good. He's good. When was the last time you guys trimmed them? Around about six months ago. Yep. And it's not necessarily the length that is the biggest problem. It's when they start to... Curl? Yeah, curl yeah. Them back a little bit. Yep. And then you start to get lesions on the bottom of their feet because they spend all their time flat on the bottom of the yeah, pond. You're right, Lightning. That's good. I mean, we're not seeing too much curvature of any yeah. of these nails, really, are we? Yeah, that's pretty good. And he's getting cranky, yeah, so I reckon let's spicy. pop him back in. All right. Good job, Lightning. Should we put him back? Yep. As soon yep. as you're ready. Yep. There you go. Take that off. Perfect. Away you go, Lightning. Oh, good boy. Oh, that thanks, was mate. awesome. Good, good job. <laughs> good capture. Wow. All right, shall we um, get the little fella? Yeah. The not so little yep. fella? On to the next one. <laughs> We're going to get his son, which is Fred. Being a younger animal, he's growing more rapidly. So we do have the capacity for Fred to have longer, gnarlier nails. He's a bit more active in the pond. He's a bit feisty. And he's starting to pack a bit of a punch. He's a monster. Yeah. Huge. Not much weight difference. <laughs> We're doing a bit of a pedicure with Fred, our alligator snapping turtle. He's in his prime. He's growing really, really quickly. He's going to be pretty feisty, I reckon. Can you see it? Oh, man. So you definitely don't want to get bitten. He's only 22 years old, yeah. and, but he's two thirds the body weight of his of his father. Who's yeah. you know, he's going to be a big boy, definitely. So two of the nails on his left forefoot have curled right over, and one of them is actually sticking into his foot pad. Um, so they've grown incredibly quickly and curled right over. The alligator snapping turtles living in that full enclosure that they have, it's a little different to a wild setting. It means they don't have to work as hard with their nails and they do grow a lot quicker. He's actually got a little bit of the tip of the nail that's fractured off, sticking into his foot pad. Oh, no. Unfortunately, his fingernail has grown right back into his hand and that's really the worst case scenario for him. That's pretty much exactly the opposite of what we're hoping for. Absolutely, yeah. So. Well, I'll grab that out. Dabs. 
Sorry, this is probably going to hurt a little bit, so if okay. everyone's yep. ready. Yep, yep, all good. See it. Oh, he's going for it. He's all right. He's good. Wow. Oh. That, that was in oh, that far. no way. That we just got that just in time. Whoa, this is absolutely wild. So his fingernail was actually growing into his hand and it looks like it's healed over. Oh, no, it was up to there, wasn't yeah, it? That section like, there, whoa, that sharp. That's incredible. I'll take right. the shield out. Ready? Yep, you're good, mate. No wonder you're grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is another bit coming out. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez, it's going to be difficult to trim that back really well, yeah. isn't it? Ooh. Oh, that's really in. There's yeah. a little bit of blood there, so that's mm. penetrated the skin. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. That's, that's not good. There is another bit coming out. Oh, there it is. Look at that bit. Whoa. Whoa. That's Chunky. even bigger. Mm. Whoa. That's so good we've got that out now. I think wow. that's... Ooh. So we'll just flush that out. Yeah, right I felt that one. That was pretty painful for him, I'm sure. So I think he definitely feels a lot better now that that's out. I'm Is happy, he all done? guys. That, yeah, all done. Well done, OK. All right, I'm letting Put go. Put it back mate. in the water. All right, shield's coming out. Here you go, mate. It was certainly unexpected that we found those nails so deformed and so quickly they'd turned straight into that foot. It's, yeah, it's probably worst case scenario for a foot check, that's for sure. So this is kind of, it's a bit of a coarser material, so we're just going to put that kind of in his enclosure, sort of in that yep. little corner. OK. We decided to put a different substrate into his enclosure, similar to what it would be in the wild. So hopefully this is going to help to uh, wear down his nails. So you watch him, and maybe if he comes this way, you just let me know. Yeah, no worries, mate. Hey, Fred. Not a turtle you want to be bitten by, that's for sure. That is for sure. OK. Let's see, put that one in. I'm happy with that. Are you guys happy with that? Yep. All right, let's jump out. There we go, perfect. Oh, there he goes. He's gone straight back under. Good job, Fred. I can see the nails wearing down from here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud of the, the job that our reptile crew have done, Nick, Sam. We've all come together to kind of problem solve and I think now our turtles are going to be really happy. But I think Fred, he's probably sick of us by now. See you later, Fred. <laughs>